example, this racetrack on Del Prado Boulevard has already seen two cases of counterfeit cash in as many weeks. And in that latest incident, well, they found fake movie money like this, which is especially concerning to the Secret Service. Now, it's totally legal to possess it, but as soon as you try to distribute it to someone else, well, that's when you face federal charges. Phony, but being passed around Southwest Florida. They need to be prosecuted. At least 16 times in the last month. It is really frustrating to have to deal with as, you know, either as a cashier or somebody who, you know, actually works for your money. Counterfeit cash was spotted at a Cape Coral racetrack. A $100 bill meant only for motion picture use on top of a gas pump. If you're using it for a motion picture, yeah, but... Apparently, they're using around in the neighborhoods. And the Secret Service says they get about five to $7,000 of funny money in Southwest Florida every week. That is a whole lot. I was not aware of that. That's, wow. But something they're especially focused on is that movie money. The Secret Service says motion picture money is one of the bigger problems with counterfeit currency, and that's because of how easy it is to get. Just a simple search on Amazon and dozens of results are ready for purchase. It looks real, though says it's not in the fine print. But if you're in a hurry, you're not going to pick that up. Which could further spread the fake currency even further. Now, if you come across counterfeit cash, you're asked to turn it into local law enforcement. The Secret Service is working with the U.S. Department of Justice to help prevent it from being that easy to buy that movie money. I'm live in Cape Coral tonight. Nestor Montoya, NBC2.